cat. That's Maximus here. Suppose I ought to make a video about these, or probably should have made one. Automatic power strips. Usually they're, I mean, you can get high quality ones. These are cheaper. They're kind of becoming a thing where somebody doesn't want to deal with like a smart home Wi-Fi Alexa outlet. But you want to be able to do something such as maybe have a couple of bedside lights and have one turned on and have it turn on the other one and when you turn it off it'll turn off the other one only a slight delay how these work is it's real simple it just has a little current detection circuit it says control even on this other brand they say control and so when there's and it requires a decent amount of load maybe 10 watts or something they do have a sensitivity adjustment I guess if maybe you have your TV plugged into it or something like that, or your receiver, it may have a significant enough standby power draw to accidentally trigger it. Speaking of home audio equipment, there's people may be familiar with 12 volt triggers, which was an early form of turning on your receiver and have it turn on your CD player, vice versa, etc. HDMI has replaced all, all those type of control signals, and subwoofers just detect input sound anyway these are a lot handier for or they're handy for a lot of things such as having a woodworking using a router or sanders even grinders if you have a dust collection system uh, <laughs> for a grinder which actually isn't very common anyway as soon as you start up the router it'll turn on the vacuum and it kind of provides you automatic control I would be careful about like a, that particular situation, running a router in a vacuum off of one of these cheap power strips, uh, it would need to be a lower power router and maybe a smaller vacuum because it would be easy to pretty much exceed the power. It's becoming more of a standard to have built-in circuit breakers on the power strips just to help try to help reduce a little bit of the fire hazard. But that wasn't the point of this. The point of this short video it's simply the kind of neat and surprisingly useful effect of having an automatic power strip where you can turn one thing on and have it turn a whole series of outlets on. You can have it along with your drill press. When you turn on your drill press light, you can have a couple other extra bright lights shining down. I'll trigger it off of, that would actually be a better uh, or at least a little safer use because you need a pretty big drill press to exceed this. but. That would be an example. Turn on the drill press and you get a whole bunch of extra lights all at once. And you don't have to fiddle with hit and remote controls. It's all kind of automatic. Or it is automatic. I also assume that these are popular uh, for com various computer users. You can plug in your computer. They use very little power in standby. When you boot it up, then you can trigger a bunch of RGB lights that you have mounted up on the wall, etc. under the desk. That's actually another handy kind of use for it. These are just kind of one of those things where you think, oh, what would I have a use for that for? And then, you know, two weeks later you run into a situation, God, I could use one of those automatic power strips. So anyway, super simple circuit. They are, in doubt, you know, much heavier duty, much more expensive kind of industrial versions of these. But it's kind of neat that they're kind of making their way down the more as a more common consumer item. Because they certainly make a lot of sense and save people a little bit of money and energy. Anyway, thanks for watching.